hello, hello. Congratulations. You made it to the champion wave part of the project of this the class. Champion wave is a computer simulation of computerized accounting. It's part of the course. And I'm going to walk you quickly through the student manual so you get a feel for what your responsibilities are. So in the beginning is a description of what the project is, kind of a background story to give it some flavor. And then we get to the chart of accounts. Now the chart of accounts just lists the accounts that are going to be used in the project. You've used most of these accounts before. And they're all there. One of the places you should spend some time is here in the detail for selected accounts. Now, for example, petty cash, account 102. Account is used for the small petty cash fund the company has established. The petty cash fund is a hundred bucks and is maintained on the impressed basis. We learned about petty cash in chapter six. Uh, there's a CD. The important information we're given, the company put $8,000 into it on February 1st, 2007. The CD has a 6% annual rate of interest and an 18-month term to maturity. So obviously, since they give you a CD, it means that you're going to be calculating interest income from the CD. Account number 125, credit cards receivable. We talked about credit cards in Chapter 7 as well. Approximately two to three days after a customer pays with a credit card, cash is received into the bank account, at which time the receivable should be relieved and the receipt of the cash should be recorded. Important information. The credit card processing company charges 2.5% fee on each transaction and deducts the fee from the amount deposited to the bank account. Now, this is different than the process we used in the textbook. Because if you remember in the textbook, when we record the sale, we record the credit card processing fee in that sale recording. With Champion Wave, we're recording the, 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 sorry, the, uh, the service charge by the credit card company when we receive the cash. Merchandise inventory is here. We know all about that. All product costs, including transportation in, go into this account because we're using a perpetual inventory system. Account 160, 161, and 162 are all prepaids. So prepaid of advertising is adjusted at the end of each month. Advertising services for the year have been paid in advance, totaling 1500 bucks. Prepaid insurance, we paid the entire year's premium of 1920 up front. We will recognize monthly insurance expense and prepaid rent. Now this is different. The account is adjusted at the end of each month. Rent totaling $5,400 was paid in January for the first quarter of 2007. So this is three months rent, not 12. We have equipment. The account is used to record the purchase of fixed assets. Company purchased $5,360 of equipment on January 1st. The equipment has an expected life of five years. The salvage value is estimated to be $800. And we're told in a previous section in this manual that we use straight line depreciation. And we're going to use the same for furniture and fixtures. Straight line depreciation. The value of the furniture was $45.32. The furniture and fixtures have expected life of seven years, and salvage value is estimated to be $500. So we have all the information we need to calculate the depreciation expense. On the liability side, we have sales tax. This account is credited for sales tax collected from customers on all merchandise sales. Now, it says previously in the description of the company that the company does both surfing lessons 
and sells surfing equipment and does surfboard repairs. So we have both a merchandising company and a service company. Only on the merchandise side do we charge sales tax, and that sales tax is 7.75%. As it says here, sales tax is not charged for repair services or lessons. Notes payable, the company has a loan. The company borrowed $30,000 at 8.5% from Central Coast Credit Union on June, January 1st, 2007. So we're going to have interest, interest expense as well. We have three types of revenue, sales, lesson, and repair. So as I mentioned previously, we have a merchandising company and a service company. Account 501 is used for cost of goods sold. Merchandise is sold at 100% markup over its cost. 100% markup, if you don't remember, means that they take the cost and double it. And that's how they get the price. So if you're given the price of something to find COGS, you're going to cut that price in half. So for example, if you sell a pair of shoes for $100, the cost of goods sold for those shoes is going to be one half of a hundred or fifty. We then have the various expenses here again credit card processing expense is two and a half percent and the rest of these expenses you've seen most of. Here's the accounting methods. So we use accrual accounting which we've been using all semester anyway. Depreciation is done at straight line. Inventory is perpetual. Purchase discounts are at the gross method meaning that it records inventory purchases at list price and returns and allowances, sales tax payable. So that's pretty much it. So then we get into the instructions of how to actually get started. It says open your browser and go to waveapps.com. So let's go do that. So you're in waveapps.com and the instructions tell us you'll see a start now button. And they've actually gotten rid of the start now button, but we do have you put in your email and create a password and create your free account. Or sign up for free. Either way, you're going to set up your own account. And this walks you through what you're going to put in, the basic information for doing that. Once you have your account, it's going to look like this. I'm going to log into mine so I show you what my account looks like. So if you've created everything correctly, this is what you're going to see. This is the dashboard. The instructions are going to talk to you about going to accounting and then transactions. And this is where you're going to enter all your data entry. Now let me go to the actual champion wave. And we go to accounting and transactions. So here are all the transactions, all the journal entries that I've created for champion wave. You'll notice that we've got two big ones right here at the beginning. We're going to look at those in a minute. Let's take a look at this one just to see uh, let's details. So here's that big journal entry. It's just a whole bunch of line items all in one big entry for eighty thousand six ninety nine seventy five. So where does that come from? Well, it comes from here. It, this used to be a four-week project. I've cut it down to two. So in order to do it for two, you need to bring the first two weeks of the project up to date. And that's what you're doing here. Entering this trial balance will bring the balance up through February 28th, 2007. You're then going to do another journal entry to bring the balance in the accounts up through March 17th, which is the end of week two 
in uh, Champion Wave. So once you've done those two journal entries, you're then going to move forward. You're not going to do week one. You're not going to week, you know, well, when we get to it, you're not going to do week two because these are already in. You did these with those giant journal entries. Where you're going to start after all of this jazz is here. Week three, March 18th to March 24th. Once you have those two journal entries in and everything is tied out, the next step is start to analyze and record these transactions. My suggestion is that you write the journal entries first on a piece of paper or do it in Excel or in Word if you want to do it in Microsoft Word. Um, but work out the journal entries first so that once you're done with that, then you can go to here and entering the journal entries is just plugging numbers. To do that, it's explained in the instructions, but you're going to go to transactions. You're going to go to more, add a journal transaction. This is where you're going to, now remember, change the dates. The dates should be the same as in the manual. They're from 2007, so be careful. Write a decent description about the transaction. And then you're going to put in your debits and credits. Make sure they total out. The software won't let you close this journal entry until it ties. And that's pretty much it. You're going to work through the rest of the manual. There are instructions for everything. If you have a question, please contact me. I'm always here for you. Um, that pretty much is a basic basic of champion wave so good luck and think do things slowly give yourself plenty of time